with 20 strikeouts. Randy Johnson, Kerry Wood, Roger Clemens, and now Max Scherzer are the only pitchers in the history of this game to fan 20 in a game. Beltre homered his last time up there. Hammer to pitch right down the right field line that got out of here by 20 feet. He is three for four this evening. I can't imagine there are many people in this club who have taken this harder than D. Gordon has, Dave. Some of the pictures we saw from yesterday. Yep. And he hits a high fly ball. This is deep to right field. He has homered for home. From the city of brotherly love, MLB The Show has baseball from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. The opener of the final series of the year between the New York Mets and the Philadelphia Phillies. It's Phillies baseball next on the show. Clay Buckholz, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. What's your take on him, H? Well, this has been a little bit of a mystery. I mean, he really struggles at home. You got the home crowd behind you. You got the mound you're used to pitching on an awful lot. But he hasn't been able to get it together. Maybe this is the game that turns it all around for him at his home ballpark. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. Payoff pitch on its way. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Kendrick going back. He tracks it down. A nice running play, and there's one away. And now a chance to meet the Mets. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Harold? Matt, this is a scary lineup. They've got power, and they have speed. They score runs in all different ways. They hit the ball in the ballpark, and they score on balls in the gap when you have a runner at first base. That's what speed, power combination can do. This is a very tough lineup. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera, lifetime against Buck Holtz. He's got eight hits in 17 at bats. Two of those hits were for home runs. Cold strike two, and now it's full three and two. Good night for baseball, all in all. Game time temperature 63 degrees. He's set. Here's the three and two. And he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd of foul ball. Another payoff pitch. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Blanco ranging up the middle on the first, and Cabrera's a ground out victim. Two away. Batting third. The left fielder Digging in, three. Michael Conforto. Michael first chance Conforto. for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Set. Here's the 3 1. He pulls this one into right, and that'll get down for a two out single. So the first two batters of the inning go out, and then the three hitter gets a base hit here, bringing up the middle of the order. This guy's got power. It could be 2 0 before you blink. Here's Juana Cespedes. He's a long ball threat, of course, currently number four in the National League home run race. Two and one now to Cespedes. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Well, I don't know what he was sitting on right there, but that's the pitch you want. You're heading the count and you get a fastball right there, middle in. I don't know. I haven't had a swing at that. That gets down and the inning continues. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Well, this middle of this lineup is dangerous. You know, he gets two quick outs, and then here comes the three hitter and the four hitter with back to back hits. And now the five hitter, he's going to have to pitch him a little careful. He thought he was cruising, now he's in a little trouble. Into the box now, David Wright. 
And this is down for extra bases, and with two out, this might get them both home. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Cespedes is on his way home, and he is in there. We didn't have to wait long for the offensive fireworks in this one. Two runners aboard, and he got a pitch he liked. Drove it all the way to the wall to bring in a pair of runs, and they're still in good shape to add on with him at second now. Into the box, Travis Darno. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Next pitch will be number 24 in this long first inning. Heading out towards shallow right, Saunders is under it, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On now to the bottom of inning number one. The Mets lead this one two to nothing. Robert Gesellman gets the starting nod for the Mets. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, Matt, he's been really good. He's got two wins in the last three starts. His teams have an opportunity to be in the game deep and late, and he's walked away, like I said, with two wins. So let's see if he's able to get three wins in four starts after this out. Digging in the switch hitter, Cesar Hernandez. And there you see his righty-lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Michael Franco waits on deck, and here's a ball hit in the air, and no one will track it down. The three, two, one more time. This is pulled into right. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. That's a tremendous at bat. Saw a bunch of pitches, saw basically everything he throws, and then got a base hit to right field. Can't ride it any better. So digging in now, Michael Franco. And you can see he really enjoys hitting here at Citizens Bank Park, which is not a shocker. It's a good place to be a hitter. Nobody out, runner on first. That's back toward the mound. This will be a tough turn, however. He'll throw back to second to get the out, and that's going to be all they get. Boy, a risky play there, but it pays off. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Odubo Herrera. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera, currently ninth in the NL in hitting entering play. The 1-1 pitch. Drilled on the ground to short to Cabrera for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We'll move to inning number two here in Philadelphia. It's the Mets two, and the Phillies nothing. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Here it comes on one and one. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. The one and two pitch. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Here's another one, two. Change of speed there, but it's taken for a ball, two and two. Set to deal on two and two. Curveball that time, not even close. And oh, strike three called as he gets a little help there. One away. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Phillies. In this day and age with analytics and the shift applied all over the field, 
This team is old school. They may be a dinosaur. They don't shift as much as everybody else. They play that stationed, standard baseball. Now at the plate, Juan Ligares. He's hitting just above the banner 300 mark on the season coming into this one. Fastball is looked at for strike two. And this pitch is taken high and away to fill the count. It's three and two. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. He's set. Here's the three and two. This is line to left. And a dive in left, but he can't get it. It'll get by him toward the wall. And he'll pull into second with one away. You've got to applaud the effort there from the left fielder. It just didn't work out as the ball squirts by him, resulting in a double. That's the danger of leaving your feet in the outfield. Stepping in now, Robert Gesellman. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. These Phillies, Harold, as they enter play here tonight, they've been on a real nice run of late, winning five of their last six games. Yeah, Matt, you know what I find interesting about this team and watching this game today? They are really playing strong baseball. They're playing good down the stretch. And that, to me, is all about that front office and the manager. They haven't quit. They've got plans in the future. And this looks like a club that you look at and you say, look out for them next year. May not get there this year, but next year they will. He's set. Here's the 3-1. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Runner at second here with one man out. Ball hit high to the right side, but this will get into the seats foul. He'll try it again, three and two. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Now, I know he struck out there, but for a pitcher, that's a pretty solid at bat. Anytime you can make an opposing pitcher out there work and throw quite a few more extra pitches, that's a quality A-B in my book. And that misses two and one. You know, I think he's having a hard time with that curveball right now, and that's part of the reason why he struggled early on in the start. It's so important to have command of those secondary pitches, or hitters just start sitting on the hard stuff. And that pitch catches the inside corner. You know, I think this is a big situation in this game. They've got to lead by a couple of runs, but they don't want to look back on this inning when this one's over and think that they left some runs out there on the base path. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Mets leave one, but they hold a 2-0 lead. And that'll bring in Tommy Joseph. He enters play hitting down in the 240s for the year. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Those 0-2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. And another foul ball. Another 1-2 delivery. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. He's just fouling them off till he gets something he wants to hit. Now another 1-2. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. We're looking at one of the best defensive teams in the league. They're in the top five in fielding percentage. Not many balls get through here. You're going to have to earn it if you want to beat these guys.
In now, Michael Saunders. As we check out how he did in August versus how he's finishing off the season down the stretch here in September. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Payoff pitch one more time. Now he lifts a high pop up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Stepping in, Howie Kendrick. And he's just hoping for something to go his way in this one. And as you can see, it's not been the case of late. Grounded to third. There to get it is right. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Digging in for his second at bat as Dribble Cabrera. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here's Buck Holtz on one and one. In there, one and two now. Well, that pulled him right there. Clearly, he was not sitting on that curveball. He couldn't pull the trigger. And that swung on and fouled straight back. The short hit hard. Blanco is there. In the dirt, and oh, he can't quite dig it out. So that'll go into the books as an E6, and he'll be kicking himself over that one. Striding in once again, Michael Conforto. He reached on a single in his first try. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And able to lay off the fastball the way here. Two and one now. He's set and the two one pitch. Shin high fastball that time. Ball three. Three and one. This guy, whoo, he's a good hitter. This is the kind of count gets him excited. Squared that one up just a little late. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Runner! He's running again. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly, and he set down one away. Digging in to try it again. Joanna right. Cespedes. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Lifted in the air out to center field. Herrera's there. And he makes the catch for the second out. Well, Trying to pick done. things up where we left off. David Wright. David Wright. A couple of RBIs for him already, and a chance for more here. Good location on the outside corner there. One and two. Here's the one and two delivery. And he chased it in the dirt. Ruff recovers. And that ends the inning. Mets strand one. They're up two to nothing. Coming to the plate now, Andres Blanco. And he's seen his numbers on the rise here over the last five games or so. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Pretty well hit deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats. Foul. The next 3 2. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul.
High fly ball out to straightaway center. Ligares is under it, and that's the first down of the inning. And with one away, time for a quick check of the standings, and it'll show you that these guys had the division race all sewn up as they look forward to baseball in October. Stepping into the box, Cameron Rupp hitting just a bit over the Mendoza line on the year. Ready on three and one, here it comes. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. Uh, this will be foul off to the right out of play. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Once again, a 3 2. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and there are two down. Now with the plate, Clay Buckles, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Line to the right side. And that is in there for a two out base knock. That is a big hit right there when you can help yourself out. Little two out base hit, extends the inning, brings the top of the order up now. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Cesar Hernandez. A base hit in his first trip. Two out with the man at first. And he gives this a pretty good ride that time, but that's going to be up amongst the crowd of foul ball. Now a ball hit hard toward first. And that's in for a base hit, his second in his many trips to the plate. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Third baseman, number seven, Michael Franco. In now, Michael Franco. And he misses two and one. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. I like that. Show him the curveball and then try to sneak that low 90s fastball by him. It's going to look faster coming off those breaking pitches. Throw on to first is in time, and the Phillies are turned away. They get nothing out of this situation as the inning is over. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Here it comes, 0 and 2. And this is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout, and there's one away. That was a good job up tying him up map. inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't DJ. even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. Into the box, T.J. Rivera. Hey. Called strike two on the cutter and he's behind in the camp now one and two. A ball and two strikes here's the pitch. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Kendrick going back and he tracks it down a nice running play to record the second out. Juan Lagares standing in Juan Lagares. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. And this is down at the knees, but called a strike. Wow, it's three and two now. That pitch right there just locked him up. A curveball that doesn't break, a little front door curveball. You're looking for it to go back out over the plate, and it doesn't. It just locks you up as a hitter. And that one's taken outside for a ball. He walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Robert Gesellman. Ready now, Robert Gesellman. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The set and the 1 1 pitch. 1 1 is a cutter that misses 2 and 1. And that one right down Main Street. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. After it is Saunders. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side.
Mets lead one as they're unable to add to their 2 nothing lead. Ready for another chance? Odubel Herrera, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he'll get in there standing up with a leadoff double. Yeah, he's going to have to start making some good pitches First to get base, out of this thing. Number Job number one is to get the next guy. And outside. ideally, you keep him from advancing the runner to third with less than two outs. Stepping in, Tommy Joseph. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Hits are now even at four apiece. Slow roller back to the mound. And a good throw gets him one gone. The right fielder, number Here's Michael five. Saunders now. 0 for Michael. 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. And that's going to be high two and two now. With the infield back and a runner at third, he's definitely pitching for a strikeout or maybe something like a harmless pop-up. You could see it from that high fastball, but that was just a good job of laying off that pitch. Swing and a liner. Foul. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. And they're on the board as now it's a 2-1 ball game. And he'll get in there safely. What an at bat. Eight pitches, and on the eighth pitch, he gets a fastball and gets a base hit. That's what you call seeing everything the pitcher has to offer. Into the box now. Howie Kendrick and he puts it on the ground to second and a base hit is that a score the runner from third and tie our ball game at two apiece. Well Matt with the runner at third base and less than two outs there's so many ways to score a run well, by just putting the ball four. in play. That Touchdown. one there instead of hitting the ground ball to somebody at somebody he hits it right back up the middle and picks up the run. Either way it works for me put the ball in play. Standing in now Andres Blanco. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. I like the call for the two-strike changeup. You got to make a better pitch. He got away with one right there. Lifted the other way out to left center. Conforto is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice I'll about trying to move up. Here. Stepping up now, Cameron, Cameron Ruff. Ruff. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike 3 in his first plate appearance. In for a strike and he jumps ahead 1 and 2 now. Two runs, six hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. And a fastball swung on and missed and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We played four full and we are tied 2-2. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He'll look to light a spark under this lineup that hasn't found the scoreboard since back in the first inning. Yeah, and for me, the story has been the starting pitching they faced. It's been very difficult to rebound and, quite frankly, dominate after getting roughed up a bit in the first inning of a start. So I'll give him a lot of credit for what he's been able to do. Hit back up the middle. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Uh oh, what a play. Now, you got to rule that a base well, hit, but man, the shortstop made a great effort on that just to knock the ball and down. But well, that's going to be ruled a hit, no doubt about it. Ready for another shot now as Drubal Cabrera. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Now, some action in the Phillies' bullpen as a right hander begins to crank it up out there. Here comes the 3 1 pitch. Yeah takes a knee-high fastball. Come on, 
Ready, he's ready. ready. He's now the payoff pitch. Swing and a liner. Foul. 2-2 is our score. Leadoff man aboard at first here with nobody out. He's got it. He'll try it again from first. Grounded up the first baseline. And this will wind up working as a sacrifice as he steps on first, allowing the runner to move into second. Up next for the Mets, left fielder, Michael Contorto. Here comes the Philly skipper on his way out toward the mound. And it looks as though that's going to be all now for Clay Buckholz. So he'll depart in the fifth with the go-ahead run on base. Your Didn't work the required five for the now win, but he could Phillies. still be hung for the loss should that run come around to score. Michael, Michael Marriott Marriott. is going to take over here in inning number five, so it'll be a bullpen game from here on out. Michael Conforto will be his first assignment out of the bullpen as he'll stand in with a runner in scoring position at second and one away. A throw behind the runner at second and the runner back. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Hit hard back up the middle. Throw gets him two down. Digging in once again. Joanna Cespedes. One for two on his line so far in the game. Hoping to keep it tied. Here it comes. And he lays off again. Ball three. He's gotten himself into a little bit of trouble out here. Middle of the order up in a run scoring situation. And now he might have to challenge him. Going to have to make some good pitches here. Swing and a hard liner to center field. In there. Base hit. And that ought to get the run in from third. So he's able to come through here with two away. And that's a good time to check out our RBI leaders on the league leaderboard. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. Settling in now, David Wright trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. Both teams with six hits so far. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. From the belt, kicks and deals. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And Wright's going to have himself a base hit. A lot of base hits up the middle. Set your sights up the alleys and try to take it back up the middle hard like he did right here. Nice job. Travis Darno. Stepping in now, Travis Darno, weak grounder back to the mound. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Mets are out on top, three to two. Chris Coughlin will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number six, Chris Coughlin. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. The two and one on its way. And this is going to find some real estate out there as he comes through off the bench with extra bases. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Man, that's got the sting for the pitcher and his teammates. They just get on the board and are feeling good about themselves, looking for a shutdown inning so they can get some more runs on the board. But instead, this guy blasts a leadoff double. Getting that shutdown inning is going to be a lot tougher now. So stepping in, Cesar Hernandez as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Fifth inning of play here in a 3-2 ball game. Hansel Robles is going to take over here in inning number five, so it'll be a bullpen game from here on out.
and he lays second. off it to even the count two and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Conforto sprinting after it. And the score from third is the tying run. It's a 3-3 game. Well, that's a nice hit. We're right back where we started with that RBI base hit. The game is tied. Into the box, Michael Franco in for strike two. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And hey, a strikeout always works too. In now, Odubel Herrera runners off for second. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Swing and a liner, but foul. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Well no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches but not this time. I think that was actually a good take but on two strikes anything that close can go either way. Into the box now Tommy Joseph. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Here's the one and two delivery. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Rivera is going to have room as he puts it away right in front of the dugout for the final out of the inning. Phillies get a couple of hits here and it leads to one on the scoreboard. We're through five here at the ballpark and we are all tied at three apiece. Joaquin Benoit please. takes over to start now the sixth inning the on the mound. Number 53. Joaquin and that brings up the catcher T.J. Rivera. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Herrera on the run. He's there and records the first down. The center fielder number 12. Ready for another Juan chance? Ligares. Juan Ligares. It was a walk in his last trip. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Here's a pop up now. And he'll squeeze this one for the second out. Now batting the pitcher, Hansel Robles. Gavin Chikini will get the call pinch to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the Gavin base is empty. Chikini. Two out, nobody on. Takes a look at a change up there and it's a ball and two strikes now. Here's the one and two delivery. And a fastball just a bit up. As long as you actually get it inside that two seam fastball running towards the hands is a really good pitch. A full count three balls and two strikes. 
no pitcher likes to take the count to three and two especially when you throw a non competitive pitch like that on two and two that one wasn't even close and he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield Joseph is there to make the catch and the side is retired down in order go the Mets on to the bottom of inning number six tied three apiece. Josh Edgen enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 66, Josh Edgen. Riding in once again, Michael Saunders. One for two with a triple so far in this one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Rip down the line. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. Well, that was a nasty pitch right there, and he stayed with it. Great piece of hitting. The only way you're going to hit that ball is you stay down as that ball starts to run away and drive it to left. Great job. Stepping in now, Howie Kendrick. A fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. The one and two pitch to two balls and two strikes now. Three runs, nine hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. Line to the right side, but he will come on strong out there in right and pull this one down for the first out. The batter number four. Ready for another shot now. Andres Blanco. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Lays off two and two now. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now at two and two, but boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. He throws him on the fastball there. Andres Blanco goes down for the second out here in the bottom half. Well, at the plate, he kind of got bailed out on that previous pitch. I think it should have been a strike. Then he goes down looking, and you really can't feel too sorry for him. Not a lot of protecting with two strikes there. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Talk about challenging a guy. He offered up two in a row right down the chute, and the batter didn't even. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Philly strand one. Six innings are in the books. The score holds it three to three. Welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. Tight one on our hands. All tied at three apiece as we look at the game summary through six innings of play. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Hector Neris will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Number Freddie 15, Galvis Hector is into the ball game Neres. as well as he'll slide now into the pitcher spot hitting ninth, ninth now on the double Number switch. 13, Freddie Galvis. <laughs> Split fingered fastball but that misses and it's three and one. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. And, oh, he thought he'd work the walk, but it's a called strike two now. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Herrera on the run. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. The batter number 13. Digging in once again as Gribble Cabrera who could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Now here's a ball hit in the air to straightaway right field. This ball's got plenty of carry to it and it is out of here. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. 19th home run for him on the season as they take the lead four to three.
Yeah, that's a long season with a lot of peaks and valleys, but he's getting hot here in September. That bodes well for him and his team as things crank up in October. We'll see if he can stay hot when it matters the most. Standing in now, Michael Conforto. And that misses for ball four. Boy, oh boy, that's a tough one for the pitcher. He's right definitely field. wondering where Yo, the heck was that pitch. Better. I think he called it high, but our strike zone says otherwise. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Nope. And the slider stayed low, apparently, for a ball. Wow, it just doesn't seem like he's being as aggressive as he was before he gave up that home run. Was throwing the ball great? Now it seems like he's a little bit more tentative throwing the ball across the plate. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Runners on first with one down. Here's Cespedes with a drive. That's high and deep to left field. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. It's a two-run shot here for Yoannis Cespedes. Number 36 on the year for him. And it's now 6-3. to three. That's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what? There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake, and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it. In now, David Wright takes a fastball on the inside corner. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the map? A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Ranging back is Herrera. That one's out of here. Back to back home runs. So, a solo shot here for David Wright. 12 home runs for him now thus far as it is now 7 to 3. Well, when a manager talks about hitting being contagious, that is exactly what we're talking about. One guy tees off and the guy behind him starts to feel a little bit more confident, a little bit more focused. The next thing you know, you've got 3 home runs in an inning and your entire offense is off and running. Into the box now, Travis Darno takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Ground ball left side. And that finds its way through for a base hit. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here's the one and one pitch and that pitch catches the inside corner four runs here in this half inning rip down the first base line and he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Got the ground ball That's he was looking for right 12. there. Hard grounder, but One, it just wasn't at like somebody. Five. If it's at somebody, it's a double play ball. Now he's got to get back to work and maybe get another one. Here's Juan Ligares. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. In the dirt here. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. The set and the two and one pitch. Can't find the zone there and it's three and one. Matt, I just think he's pitching scared. Look, he's getting hit a little bit and now he's falling behind another hitter. Challenge somebody. And he takes a cold strike at the knees and that'll run things full. He's 
He's set. Here's the three and two. Hit on the ground out to short. On to first, and there were two down. Dalyar Inahosa comes on now, Andre. looking for the final out of the inning to strand the two runners in scoring position. Now pitching for the Phillies, number 94, Dalyar Inahosa. Matt Reynolds will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Matt Reynolds. Runners at second and third with two gone. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. And that's in there. Base hit. In to score. The runner from third. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. It's a 9-3 game now. Shortstop Ready once seven. again, Jose Reyes. Reyes. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Oh, and this just jumps off the bat here as this is to deep straightaway right field, and you can pretty much forget about this one. That is a long home run. A two-run home run for Jose Reyes. Eighth home run on the season for him as they have widened this lead to eight now. Well, balls are flying out of here faster than they can throw them across the plate, it seems. That's four home runs in this inning alone. It's times like this when pitchers wonder if maybe they've chosen the wrong profession. Their pitching coaches start wondering, too. Stepping in now as Dribble Cabrera. And strike three there as they'll finally work out of the inning as the side is retired. But not before they claim the lead here as they bat around and hang an eighth spot on them. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. Mets out in front, 11 to 3. AJ Ramos enters from the pen to begin the frame with a sizable lead with which to work. AJ Ramos. Coming to the plate now, Freddie Galvis. He leads off this half inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs they just gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by the opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. And he got him. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese, swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Into the box, Cesar Hernandez. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Grounded foul down the line, so he'll tee it up again. One out, nobody on. Another one sent foul. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. And he'll stay alive here as this is chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. Again, a one two. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Baseman, no problems seven. for him on the mound since Mike he's Kell. come out of the pen to start Franco. this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Ball one. Oh two is a fastball that misses That's inside that one and two now. I like how he wasted that pitch. It was close enough. To a swing and a miss that retires the side and that will do it. Three up three down three strikeouts not too shabby. We're back to Friday night baseball on the show. After this, digging in to try it again, Michael Conforto. He reached on a walk in his last time up and later came around to score. One and one, here it comes. Oh, that nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one.
check to deliver on two and one. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there, and it's three and one now. And now pitch on the way. And a good take there will net him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Digging in and looking for more, Yoannis Cespedes. It's been a nice game for him. Three hits, including a homer to this point. One and one, here it is. Oh, and he gets a hold of this one as it's in the air to deep left. Does he have another one? He does. It's another home run. It's a two run shot to straight away left his second of the game as they just continue to pour it on here. That is why you can't walk the leadoff hitter. A solo shot becomes a two run homer and the damage just kind of snowballs. Tough one to swallow. Standing in now, David Wright. One two pitch is a slider that misses two and two. The two two now to right, and he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. It's never easy to rebound after serving up a two run shot, but that if that was a good indication for me that he isn't letting it get to him. He went right after him for the strikeout. So striding forward now, Travis Darno. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Here it comes on nothing and two. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. When he's pitching effectively, usually that two-seam fastball is moving quite a bit, but here it's just kind of flat and straight. Could be a big part of the reason why he's getting knocked around. A uh, great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the now second out. Oh, I love watching a pitcher that can run a good hard fastball in on a guy's hands and completely lock him up. That's such a tough pitch to do anything with. If you can locate your fastball there consistently, you're going to have a lot of success as a pitcher. In now, T.J. Rivera. He swings and grounds it to short. Galvis has it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So two runs on one hit, and the one hit was a big one, the home run. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Mets lead it 13 to 3. Seth Lugo comes on to start the inning, and he'll have a huge lead to work with. Seth Lugo. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Change up. Good pitch there. One and two. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. Well, I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. Conforto waits on it, and that's the first out of the inning. First baseman, number nine. Standing in, Tommy Joseph. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. The two and one on its way. Nope. Lays off the change up and he's ahead in the count now three and one man. That's the difference right there three one or two two You gotta love the fact that was called the ball now you're sitting three one get the pitch you want and drive it Well every at bat counts. I mean it's a nice piece of hitting it's late in the game and obviously a losing five. cause and I'll take my single Thunder. Stepping in now Michael Saunders Swing and a ball hit in the air to right field and deep back is the right fielder, but he will look up and watch this one sail out of here. A two run blast to straight away right field, number 17 for him on the season, as it's now down to an eight run ball game. The 
know some people would say this homer is wasted because they're down so big tonight but I'm not one of them I think anything you can build on and take into the next game is valuable and at least they're still battling. Into the box now Howie Kendrick. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Bases are empty one man out. Misses ball two. And Kendrick gets the hands through quickly there but a little too quickly as this will find the seats foul. He's set here's the two two. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low it's ball three. He's ready now the payoff pitch. Sliced hard on the ground and a sliding attempt at first but this sneaks by him a base hit. Brian Holiday will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with the runner at first and one gone in the inning. Brian Holiday. Runner at first here one man out. Good swing there but this is fouled off to the right side. That's a nice pitch a fastball in that jams him and now you go back outside. You know he's got to protect inside you go back outside to try to get the out. The one two pitch. Right field after it is Cespedes. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Cameron Ruff. Three at bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. And this one is over, and he works the count back to two and two. A runner on first with two away. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. In the air now, out to right field. Cespedes is there. And that's the third out. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We played eight full. The Mets are out on top, 13 to 5. Back in the city of brotherly love with Major League Baseball on the show. Pat Meshack comes on to pitch now, now hoping for better results Billy. than the other Number arms 17. that they've run out there in this one. So coming to the plate, Juan Ligares. He was a ground out victim last time up. Ready now with the payoff pitch. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Well that was a slider and a 3 2 count and it just didn't Petra. tempt him enough to get a good swing a good job of pitch recognition and knowing the strike zone to draw the free pass there now a left hander up and throwing in that Philly bullpen ready with the 1 1 pitch and they'll indeed have the pitcher squaring around as he puts this one down only plays to first so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. Shortstop number seven, Jose Ready Reyes. to take his hacks again, Jose Reyes, as he'll look to follow up the two run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Now Reyes awaits the 1 1. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. One out and a runner on second base. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Now this pitch is lined into left center field. That's a base hit. Ligaris rounds third and is digging for the plate. Is in time, and he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. Obviously, they got a little over aggressive there. When you've got the lead like this, you can afford to do that a little more. We'll see if that lost run ends up being a factor at all. In 
into the box as Dribble Cabrera. Line drive to center field. Pereira is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Mets strand one. They still hold a relatively sizable lead. Standing in, Freddie Galvis. Starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count. At least for their own stats, you can't mill in your chances as a professional. Bonnie leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. A solo shot down the line in right. Seven home runs for him on the year now, but they still face a seven run deficit. They're not there yet, but a solo homer to lead off the inning will do wonders for any team's confidence. We'll see if the next few batters can continue the comeback effort here. We just need to string some good at-bats together now. In now, Cesar Hernandez, very weakly on the ground. Here's the one and two delivery. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first down of the inning. Baseman number seven. Now at the plate, Michael, Michael Franco, Franco looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. Ready with the two and two. On the ground for the shortstop, Reyes. Scooped up. On to first, and now the Phillies are down to their final out. Now batting. Center Here's the fielder. center fielder, Odubel oh, Herrera. Herrera. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Grounded to the right. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. And that'll keep the inning alive for Tommy Joseph. Well, uh, that's why you grind out here. every at bat. You don't want the game to end on your watch. He gets the base hit, extends it, and we'll see what happens the rest of the way out. Standing in now, Tommy Joseph. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. Ligares on the run. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Hey, if you want to know what this game was decided, that's easy. Look no further than the seventh inning. That big rally and the crooked number on the scoreboard proved to be all the difference. 13 to 6, the final score in this ball game. The Mets with their 95th win tops in the division. Josh Edgen gets the win in relief his second of the year. Hector Neris permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that's a wrap here tonight for my partners in the booth Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB the show and for more click on over to the shownation.com. Time of the ball game, four hours and 16 minutes. A reminder that extra post-game SEPTA trains on the Orange Broad Street line are available. The pitch, and a high drive, hit back into deep right field. Junior has just knocked the door down to the 500 club. A high drive into the lower deck and right. Number 30 touches them all. Getting his 500th home run to right field. What a scene this is here at Bush Stadium in St. Louis.